Okay, so I'm going to get started with the speakers. We have, like Andrea said, a really terrific lineup of speakers from all walks of life, from everywhere from concerned citizens to people very active in civil liberties in D.C. and in the greater nation of the United States. Our first speaker of the day is Amy Stefanovich. Is Amy here? Right here. Awesome. Great, thanks. Uh, Amy is the director of the Domestic Surveillance Project at the Electronic Privacy Innovation Center. EPIC is a nonprofit research center founded in 1994 to focus public attention on emerging issues related to privacy and civil liberties. In her role, Amy works on the issues of national security, digital identity, and developing surveillance technologies. Please welcome Amy. Happy Fourth of July! So one month ago, people in the domestic surveillance privacy community thought things had gotten pretty bad. We had the DOJ investigating reporters, we had body scanners in airports, drones in the sky, and we were thinking, what are we going to do about this privacy problem? 29 days ago, things got a lot worse. Because 29 days ago, on June 5th, 2013, The Guardian published an order from the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court. That order demonstrated that the National Security Agency had been receiving data on everybody in the United States, who they're calling, who they're talking to, where they are, what they're doing. It was an incredible invasion of privacy. 29 days ago, I was in San Francisco and I woke up to see this order published on the Guardian's website. Very shortly after that, I got a phone call from a very good friend of mine who really hasn't ever been that involved in privacy or surveillance, has never really understood what I did. And she was talking to me and the first words were, what do I do? What do I do? I'm outraged. I need to do something. And I thought that's a really good question. What can we do? So four days later, and four times more outrage later as we received four more stories from The Guardian about how our privacy, how our rights were being invaded by the government, I came back to DC and I sat back in my office and I met with people in my office and that was the question I posed to them. What do we do? The NSA has made us all into numbers. They made us all taken away our autonomy, taken away our personhood and put us into a database and what do we do? In that spirit, EPIC has done a lot. We started off filing Freedom of Information Act requests. We were trying to get more information about the, what the government was doing. We sent letters we, to Congress. We called for oversight. We demanded that Congress investigate the acts of the National Security Agency and the FBI and the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court. And they started to do that, but it wasn't enough. So we continued to ask ourselves, what do we do? So I'm really proud to announce that EPIC is doing a couple things that we expect to really change what's going on. A couple weeks ago, we launched a petition to the National Security Agency. There's this really great little law called the Administrative Procedure Act, and it says that an agency like the NSA cannot do anything that has a substantive impact on anybody's rights without getting input from people. Now, I wasn't asked by the NSA if I could have my information collected and put in a database. Are any of you asked? Well, I don't think so. So we wrote to the NSA. We got public sign-ons. We're submitting to the NSA a petition every single week until they respond and ask why they did not come to the public as required by the law to get input on this program. And I'm even more proud to announce that on Monday, EPIC is going to file with the Supreme Court of the United States a petition asking the Supreme Court to vacate the order that allowed them to collect this information in the first place and prevent them from getting any more orders seeking their information. Because we should not have our personhood taken away. We should not have our autonomy taken away. We are not numbers. We are free people. And on the 4th of July and on every day after this, we need to tell the NSA that we will not let them do this to us any longer. Thank you. Woo!